All right, they say, we're gonna have the new catalog with the gear, the titles, the splash tags, the decorations, the stickers, and the emotes, which is something that we knew about already. First of all, beloved tri stringer. It says, the size of the terrain area inked by the falling spray has been increased. That's a immediate paint buff, which we do love to see. So basically, when you're like firing the tri stringer at full value, it's gonna drop more paint as it's like, as it's going, which is good for you as well. The area, the size of terrain inked by the by falling spray has been increased, and it's easier to connect ink in an uninterrupted straight line. Which means that when you're actually swiping your Splatana wiper, beforehand you'd often do a swipe and find yourself with it with an incomplete ink of line, right? So when you're fighting with someone, you're trying to run away, you do a swipe, try to run, you probably end up stuck in the enemy ink as you go, taking damage and slowing yourself down. This will happen less now. Well, they made the angle shooter go farther. <laughs> they said angle shooter? Oh yeah, we can we can make that go a little go further. Okay, cool. Also, the initial velocity thing though is interesting, which means it's gonna get from point A to point B quicker. It's like what happened with the Nautilus when the Nautilus got that buff sometime in the middle of Splatoon 2, where the shots went from point A to point B faster and then made the weapon broken. But that's uh it is, it is what it is, baby. <laughs> we'll see. If they still find that the angle shooter weapons have a very low win rate, like, or or even worse, a very low pick rate in ranked after this season, they couldn't have changing stuff down the line. <laughs> Ethel says, wow! The marker went instant to instant. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> All right, we're talking specials now here. So we have Zipcaster. It says, the ink consumption when using a main weapon while the zip caster is active, oh my god, <laughs> has been decreased from, to about 67% of the previous. So they said, oh, I guess that we're making you use too much ink while you're zip casting. Um, here, now you can actually use your weapon more. Smiley faced emoji. So by saying it's decreased to about 67%, that means that they're making it about a third better. But the way they've worded this is really silly. So, you'll use only two-thirds of the ink you did before when you're using your weapons while zip casting. But uh, here's our good old buddy the ink back. Oh, okay, wait, I thought that was gonna be crap. <laughs> okay, it says the ink back's return shot has been increased. Uh, okay, so this is a very specific damage number. What this is doing here is it's gonna change the ink back from being a it kills you to it really kills you and the difference between it kills you and it really kills you is things that just it kills you like a charger shot like the explosion from a reef slider like the ink bag previously is that if you squid roll at the right time you live and they actually explain it right there so my explanation was done for no reason there's missiles down there haha -ha. All right, so we got the good old reef slider now. It says the damage. Okay, so they made also the reef slider do it kills you because they're actually um, at, at the current moment there are people who survive when they squid roll the reef slider. I've seen many many pictures of many many videos of people doing that and feeling awesome. All right, here's missile. Let's see. Oh, let's They finally did it. They say they save Splatoon. Let's go. Awesome says you're a reflux player. Don't worry, it still is useful. Not for you just, long. <laughs> it eat, oh, yeah. no, less e less wave breaker for e-leader. So uh good old pro can get more crabs now. Jet can get more ink back. Okay, this this black <laughs> pro did not need buffs. What the And Zap can get more tactical. <laughs> Oh good, so my teammates can ignore it even faster. <laughs> good. Aerospray's gonna be firing off more of those reef sliders than ever before, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the number of boss salmonids that can appear at once has been capped at 15. Boo! Boo! I like when it's unnecessarily hard! Boo! The appearance of too many bosses can slow the <laughs> They implemented it because the game gets too slow. Alright, let's... I'm gonna do this first. Brella. Animal. Got anything else? Umbrella? Fixed issue. We're hitting the edge of a splash wall or umbrella shield. The blaster shot would deal damage to the player on the side. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because that was a problem. The umbrella would, would like, not protect you from a blaster. All right. Fixed issue. We're holding the ZR button to roll ink along the ground with a roller or deal damage to a player. Okay. So they're, okay. They're, they're doing it. 
They're not even bothering to capitalize Brella, <laughs> but they're doing it. <laughs> Fix an issue where breaking an opponent's Brella shield while inking the ground with ZR with a brush or a roller, where the player using the brush or roller would not be knocked back. Okay, so the shield like actually knocks you away now. Okay, they're saving the Brella. They're, they're maybe fixing it a bit. They say, fix an issue where a bomb touching a Brella shield the same moment the Brella closed would call the Brella to not take damage. Okay, that's technically Brella nerf. They fix an issue where players going into swim form on thin floors could allow some attacks to down. Yeah! 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 Woo! That's a good one. That's a, This is a good one. So currently one of the major issues in the game is that sometimes players who are in a swim form on places like the bridge on Eel Tail, for example, the like the little bridge on like Sturgeon, the little bridge on Eel Tail, etc. You would be able to die to random things that shouldn't kill you, like a charger firing through there, like a random roller slapping through there, a blaster shot, a sloshing machine slot. A lot of the sloshing machine stuff was fixed, but it wasn't fixed universally everywhere for every weapon. So ideally, the charger should not be hitting you through the floor anymore. Ideally. Uh, apparently, if you super jumped to a player sitting on a sponge, you would land in midair. And now that they've admitted to this, you know people are going to run and go do it for fun while they're waiting. Oh, this is the problem that a lot of people have been complaining about, where if you super jump to people, sometimes the wrong person gets picked. Even if the game, like it has like the slightest diagonal of an input put in which is common with these controllers anyway because you know it's just it's it's one button it's very easy for it to be diagonal and accident nintendo i mean that kind of takes away the the purpose <laughs> okay all right all right it says the tricolor battles have been modified so that all players can play on the attacking or defending team regardless of the halftime results i mean i guess that's good if you're just really good at picking the the defending team, aka you just pick um, Big Man's team every time, and you get really you just you just keep ending up defending every time. Players can join by themselves or in a pair with a friend. When playing by themselves, they'll be paired with another solar player, same as before. A group of eight will be created from four pairs, and the two for two two before four will be two tricolor battle will commence. Players do not know whether they will be on an attacking team or the defending team until the battle begins. Players have a 50-50 chance of being on an attacking team or the defending team, regardless of their Splatfest team affiliation. Depending on population ratios for Splatfest teams, there may be tricolor battles where all eight players are on the same team. I mean, I guess what they're trying to do is increase the number of tricolor turf wars in totality, and this would be one way to do it. But, okay, so they're still gonna make it have a kind of like functionality. So if you're the defending team and the attacking teams are from the other ones, like it will still act the way that it did before where there's like lots of, lots of bonus clap. Aw, oh, but that's good! So they're bringing back the old pledge box thing. That's beloved. Oh, good. They sh Oh, good. They made it so you can actually see what page everything is on now. Thank you, game. Because beforehand you couldn't. You just have to guess what page you're on looking at your gear. Oh, yippee! Even if I had the time, I wouldn't have been able to make the, the reading all of Sheldon's explanations video. I didn't know I could read it twice. Sorry, I'm sorry, Sheldon.